Today we're going to give you a very short demonstration on operating the Bionic 01 long range detector. When we operate the Bionic 01 long range detector, this detector uses both your body's natural energy and also that of the ionization fields that run along the magnetic lines of flux. So as a real quick brief description, I'd like to show you the control unit on the Bionic 01. Okay, we have right here our display, our status lights, our go button, a plug here for headphones, our charger port, our on off button. So during this particular display, we're going to show exactly how to tune and calibrate the Bionic 01. Welcome today to this little introduction course for the use and operation of the Bionic 01. We're going to show you today how to use this instrument to, so that you will have the best results possible. Okay, with the Bionic 01, we'll explain to you the different hookups and how it functions. There are three antennas on the front. The two antennas, left and right, can be swapped out. The one long antenna must remain in the middle. The connection of the antennas is very simple. As you see here, you have these four pins. And there's also a little nipple here, right down here where the antenna can only go in one way. Insert the antennas and connect. You have a laser, which will assist you in locating a direction during the evening hours, in the event that you use it during the evening. The off here, on, off. On this unit, we have our display. We have our status lights. You have your selection button. Here you have your headphone plug. So in the case that you wish to use headphones, you can plug that into here. You have your charger. And here's your off and on button. When you first turn on the unit, in the display, you're going to get the version number and the model. It starts here off with the Bionic system calibration. This is the first function, is the Bionic system. By pushing this green button twice, you come to the second function, which is the Ionic function. Now the Ionic function is to look for long time buried gold, as the Bionic function can look for fresh gold as well as long time buried gold. Okay, to calibrate the unit in the bionic mode, I'm going to bring the unit here so you can see this. The first thing we're going to do is turn on the unit. We wait for the unit to start and show the version number. And then it says bionic system calibration. The value of 255 is too high. So we'll turn the calibration knob. And then on the other side it says calibration 96. This is too low. Your optimum or your acceptable range is between 180 and 254. Your optimum calibration range is between 220 and 254. Here on the grip, it is important that you have a comfortable grip all the way across. If you release your grip, the values will change and you will get a false reading. So it is very important that you control your grip and hold it comfortably. When it is held comfortably, then you allow your bioenergy to flow, giving you an accurate reading. So, now we will calibrate the unit. Grip comfortable. Turn the calibration knob so it is between 250, or 220 and 254. Once you have a good reading, you press the green button for OK to start. Now the unit reports no. When they have the presence of gold, the value will change. Now as I'm coming in the way of the value here, you see it has changed. If the, if the machine goes the other direction, it changes.
Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate the ionic mode. In the ionic mode, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the unit. We're going to push the green OK button two times. Once, twice. In this mode, it is not critical to hold the um, grip because it's going to go for long time buried gold and silver only. Now what we need to do is we need to calibrate this against a piece of gold. So, we're bringing out a piece of gold, put it against the gold, now you push the green button, okay, for five seconds. Once you have that calibrated, now you can search to the south or from the southwest to the southeast to see if there is any presence of natural gold. Stop. Okay, when using the ionic mode, it is important that you hold the unit completely level. You're going to go from the southeast to the southwest. You cannot go towards the ground, you cannot go towards the heavens. It is important that you hold it level and you search on a level plane. A little bit up, a little bit down is acceptable. Radical up, radical down is not acceptable. Some useful tips I'd like to give you now on the bionic. One thing is, try to avoid industrial areas. Try to avoid your mobile telephone. Extra jewelry like watches, take them off. Put them away. Turn off your cell phones. Leave your car keys with the electronic transmitters in the car. The less that you have around the unit, the better chance that it has to get a good reading. If you see high power tension lines in the sky, go to a different area if possible. Because you're trying to avoid all of the things that can influence this unit. If you're in a city, try to use it outside of a city because there are a lot of influences within a city. With your grip, remember, simple tip, make sure you have a good contact. You don't want to have a contact when if you look here, that your fingers all of a sudden turn. Okay, that means you're pushing too hard. You need to relax. The body energy has to flow here. Once the body energy flows, then it will give you the proper response. Work on a level playing field. Simple things like this will help. One other thing with all of the equipment at OKM, if you have any issues or problems, please contact us. We are here to assist you.